What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibe. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing all right. Sorry for looking greasy and sweaty. Like I, hell, I always greasy and sweaty. Y'all should be used to this by now. I feel like y'all just get accustomed. Like, all right, that's how the niggas. The nigga always sweating, which I, yeah, I, I sweat a lot. Trust me. <laughs> I sweat a lot. That's why we have my. I get my rag right now, but I don't get it. Just know I get it. But I always use my rag to wipe my face. But hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you for tuning to AM Island Vibes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today we're gonna be reacting to Super Mario Galaxy. I want to see what's up. You know, it's called a dunk review. You know, we're gonna see what's up. I don't know if this is a new one. I think it is a new one. I haven't played Super Mario in years. Years, bro. Super Mario. The last Super Mario I played was Super Mario Kart. That was busting. Hardest game to me in my time. But let's get into the video. Enough talking. Let's get into the reaction video. You guys came for the reaction. Let's get Space. The final frontier. Yeah. That's a quote from Wally. Thank you. That's what say. Yeah. Mario! All things must go to space. Say what? The Grave Toaster, the Leprechaun, Airbud. Space represents infinite, boundless possibilities, but for Mario, it actually meant more limitations. Compared to 64 and Sunshine, Mario's movement in Galaxy feels far more restrictive. You can no longer dive. Instead of having a full range of motion, you can only move in nine directions, and the stage design is far more linear. None of this sounds very fun. But it is, trust me, by reining in Mario's abilities and forcing players to engage with the levels more, the designers are able to take movement in all new creative directions. To be in First the most obvious are these planetoids. If you long jump off one at the right spot, you'll go what? flying through its orbit, and you can also get sucked into another's gravitational pull if you get close enough. The game eases you into this new way of moving Mario with a little... That's hard. Planet. That's hard. The game just starts chucking off. Stars that fling into other planets, shockwave Goomba got the blue rapper guy, stretcher plants, spinning vines where you spin around like they do with spinning around the horse. You can jump into this thing and it turns Ooh. into a 2D platform with alternating gravity. Ooh. That was just the first level. A lesser game what? would crumble under the weight of so many ideas, but Mario Galaxy nimbly glides through them like the Matrix, introducing one mechanic that leads to another, which later merged with the previous idea to create an even more exciting combination. Oh, this is a good ass game. Then you got the soundtrack. <laughs> that powerful, triumphant orchestra surging so much life into these levels, jumping on a Goomba has never felt more important than in Mario Galaxy. But just like the game itself, the music never stays in one mode for too long. In minutes, you'll go from mystical and imposing to cheering penguin party world. Bumble Yo, Mario soundtrack low key to be hard. In a marimba, so simple, no homo. so effective. This is one of the I don't know why I say no homo. So it makes sense to bring the intensity down and let players explore it at their own pace. Swing on oh the swing. Oh god, my computer's glitching again. Go on a fountain, get bubble shot through the air. I love this one. Only in a game like Mario Galaxy are you yeah, going to get shot. deep bumblebee suit gameplay like this. As the beat, you can hover until you run out of stamina, which can be refilled in midair with coins or by landing on a flower, which will disappear if normal Mario tries to land on it. Touching water deactivates the suit. You can also climb on honey and hover out of a flingy flower bounce, which is this for out of the previous game, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, which is a two is a new game play with a bongo drum controller. It also makes Mario cute. The hub world is not nearly as cool as the previous game, so to kind of gloss over that, they put in this really really good song which actually grows louder as you power it up transitioning from the small music box sound to a full-fledged orchestra dun, dun, dun. one of my favorite things about the 3d mario games is that each one has its own identity they all look and play differently from each other so when a new one comes out it doesn't make the previous titles obsolete mario galaxy 2 i didn't forget is the first 3d mario game to not completely reinvent the wheel and after playing this game every year for the past 10 years i can confirm it's pretty fun game the first game is a continuous stream of inventive polished mechanics like the web point. 
the sand move, turn into a spring, bubble blow apart, wind pedal, make a caterpillar, Mario can freaking ice skate, you have stuff from older games like rabbits, cannons, slides, mountains, even the cataquacks are in there. The scope and range of moods and ideas is so wide, you think, what else could they even do? And don't even get me started on the monkey. That's the greatest feature of all. Level design takes center stage in Mario Galaxy, and they can really pack an atmospheric punch. The Cosmic Cove Galaxy is pure magic. That beautiful, mysterious harp luring you into the water, teeming with sea creatures and plant life. You platform from one gravity-defying pool to the next until you slam this button down and freeze the entire planet over. I've said it before, these games are so good, the water levels are good. Play the fucking games. <laughs> uh, that was a good one. Hey, yo, I say stop. I say stop. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Super Mario Galaxy, that's not a, you know, man. That's an old one. Super Mario, I don't know why I thought this was a new one. Yeah, man, it came on 2007. That sounds about right. That sounds just about right. That sounds just about 2007. Yo, man. I can't be the only person who that brought so much memory to. That brought happiness. All the above, man. I don't know why I'm thinking about it so heavily. It's so heavy now. You know what I mean? That shit was just bomb. There hasn't really been games designed or made just like that. Oh, by the way, um, I'm not sure as yet. I'm trying to get my finances in correct so I can do something better. What I want to do is start streaming on Twitch and on YouTube. I already made the Twitch account, but <sighs> y'all gonna find this funny, right? My PlayStation got damaged. You might be saying, oh, how you broke your PS? I didn't broke it. The power company damaged my um, PS4 when they transformed on the pole, exploded, and they had to tell me legally they're not responsible for any damaged goods inside my household. So basically, if anything blow up, they're not responsible for it, and that's legally. I don't know why would you make a law allowing a power company to damage somebody's personal um, goods for, 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 for their equipment malfunctioning. Get it right. Their equipment messed up and damaged my stuff. Oh, we're not responsible. Anyway, so yeah, that's why my PlayStation got damaged. I was going to buy it, I buy a new one, then I was going to repair it. Then I was like, nah, I'm not going to put no more money into it. I'm PS5 is coming up, so I'm going to get that. And hopefully, I'm going to get it. I'm not going to get it right away, but sad to say, I'm, you know what I mean? But I'm going to get it. Just let me know what you guys want. If you guys want to see me start streaming on Twitch and upload low um, gameplays on YouTube, but that will be on a different channel. I'll make that for a different channel. This channel here is only for reactions so far and like little challenges or whatever. But you guys get the point. Just let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that. Please let me know. And I'll try to do it. Just a small group of us, but hey, who cares? I can still, I, if it's one person, I'll stream and do videos for that one person, all right? But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below in the comment section. Let's grow the community and let's keep on moving. Y'all guys are showing me so much love and support. Thank you. And until we meet again, remember to be happy and grateful and remember the world is yours. Peace.